Hello and welcome back to another one. There's a new commentator. It's me. I, you guys heard me in the sub. Like, yeah, the but background. why don't you introduce yourself? Hello, I'm Adriano and I play for the Smash team as well. I already got a match down, I already got a 3 0. So yeah. now I'm just here since Daniel. Or, uh, I'm not Nathan anymore. Yeah. Whoa, wait, what happened? Also, oh, uh, oh wait, they, they have the wrong rule set. They have items on. Oh. Oh, yeah. okay, I guess we have some error happening right now, so. Yeah. Look, see, there's a little yeah. bottle. And Matt did a taunt before he yeah. died. Okay, oh. so we went, we had a little, we had unfortunately a little error that happened that causing um, us to, well, it's causing them to have to restart the round again. However, for now, what do you think the how how do you think Mantis will be playing against this? Hmm. Against an Incineroar? I would say Mantis should do good, because Incineroar does do bad against projectile users like Young Link himself. Since he doesn't have much projectiles and also is a really slow character, so he can't really compete against them. Yeah. So, for now. They may choose do you think they will choose probably different characters? I don't think so. There I would say no reason to do that. Mm. It's not like Matt that showed anything for him to ha have a reason to switch his character. Yeah. So I'd say they say the same. They just need to change up the rule set because they accidentally had a casual rule set instead of competitive one. Yeah. And also, uh, oh yeah. And also, we won't be doing the two when we have like this all this one game happening. We will have all in one game. So in one stream, we should be able to do that. So excuse the two, um, the two live streams that you're seeing right now. Honestly, I didn't expect the last this one to actually come up. So, but it is fine. It is fine. So now, official game actually started. So now it it is Incineroar versus Young Lee. Oh, he did with the drag down combo already with 32%. Now he's using the projectiles. Although, oh, he timed it perfectly. So he got extra damage, which is a mechanic that Incineroar has. Where he grabs you and he has to time the B button for when you're next to him. And it does extra damage and it also win my contract. He, he messed it up there. And so he only hit him upwards and not too much. Although they seem to be pretty equal right now. Although the Incineroar... Oh, he got revenge. Alright, Matt, Matt needs to worry. Because we know what happened last time with Daniel and revenge. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Did revenge not work out that well? Or did he not... Oh, no. He did, he used... It, it works for any move. It does it whether you want it or not. Unless you hit the move. Uh -huh. Oh, he hit, him with a, he hit him with a tech choice. And then there. Alright, now he's forced off stage. Oh, he had super armor. So it went through the upbeat. At this, oh, he's dead. He lost his double jump. Yikes. Okay, he got him with the up smash, though. So, now he's back in the game. You too. Oh, no, yeah. Why oh, is the screen turning red? I don't see it. Makes him a pretty bad character, but he is strong. I like. Yeah, he's doing the drag down. Yep, there you go. He's some good damage. Although, oh, Matt's got a little too good. Here. Nice. No, it would have been a good clip if he actually hit him. I'm pretty sure he has this in the bag, unless he accidentally killed himself. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, he just. Oh. That was weird. He didn't get that. It's a pretty possibility of lag too. I think that was lag. That might have been more like showing up a little message. Just saying. Ooh. Let's continue. Although the Incineroar is getting some good damage. If he gets a move off, like, a, oh, oh, he's almost gone. The red sparks usually mean death, but they're very inconsistent. Along with the zoomings. Oh, the lag. Now there's lag. Oh, oh revenge. Oh, oh, he times this? Oh, the lag oh. saved Mathis. That's that's funny. Oh, the oh. Live by the lag. Lag is worse than by the lag. Lag is worse compared to last game. Yeah. Kinda odd. Oh, he times it? Oh, oh he meant oh. it up completely. He didn't even press the B button. Like he skipped the up throw. Alright now, will he capitalize? No, uh, he's back in some stage. Although Mathis is winning neutral right now. Incineroar is pretty bad. Oh, if he got grabbed there, he would have been dead. 
Sinor is a really healthy character, so he won't die easily. Unlike someone like Sora or Kirby, last match. Because they're light characters. Yeah, although Young Ones can be light himself, but not as light as Goto. Oh. And there you go, the forwarder kills. Oh. Game one goes to Mapus. A close match, surprisingly. Had it been a bigger stomp. Oh, we're spinning. Yeah, so. Yeah. You connected to their herb. How did you think of the <laughs> How did you think about it? Yeah, I I saw well, I feel like Mattis could have done better if he just hadn't, you know, killed himself trying to go for hype. But I wouldn't blame him. I would do the exact same. Usually when I like play as someone like Mario, I would be going off stage and trying to spike them and I'll just end up killing myself. So yeah, I can't blame him for going try to, trying to disrespect. Oh, it's actually shocking that they're sticking with the same characters. Yeah, same characters. I've, I'm not assuming. Oh, age. never mind. Oh, okay. Oh, right. no. I wonder what does he think? I guess his, I guess Incineroar is his main. Most of it. Unless he has a different character and he's just trying what to stick to the same. Okay, since the second round, Mantis right. won and the publisher is zero. Battlefield again. Alright, he's gonna get a good combo there. So, I'm not sure if I can get the idea of just arrowing offstage. Maybe it's lag, maybe it's gonna be reverse. I'm not sure. Oh. Although he got him off. Unfortunately, lag this game seems really bad. Why he didn't do much after that? Oh. Oh, okay. That. Oh. Oh, he, he panicked. Right. Oh. But the Nintendo never got anything on that. He just ended up doing. I mean, I think they're both lagging really badly right now. Anyways. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. oh, he timed it perfectly this time. That's some good damage. Oh, he got the fight. Ooh. Unfortunate thing for Youngling is that he doesn't have a spike, so you can't really disrespect him like that. Unlike like a right? Oh. Oh, he timed it again. Gets revenge and does that? Oh god. He it could use one of his projectiles to get revenge. This is like Incineroar is really like, now he, I think he now is being a lot more calm compared to last game. I'm always worried that something like this is a little too. Uh, it might be a little too overconfident. I'd like to be underestimating Incineroar. Oh! Well, he's getting him. If he tries, it shows. That's good. Okay. Now they're in 2 to 2 lives, but unfortunately, Mantis is currently 50%. Yeah, although it's not too hard to get that percent back. You can see how Young does a lot of damage for some reason. And there you go, see? Hard. Uh, oh, he has super armor. If he hadn't had that super armor, he'd be dead. Oh, oh he kind of. Oh, now they're equal. I mean, it's there, zoom like 5. Oh, well. Okay. It seems like Incineroar is not using revenge as much as it did last round. Well, I was wondering if he was using revenge as much as the last Incineroar was using. Oh wow. Okay, he's dead. Oh. It's all coming back. That smash takes a long while. It's strong, but it has, takes a while for it to finish. Oh, he got the parry. I told oh, he wants that spike. He says greedy is the last one. Oh, there you go. He got revenge with a downer. Oh, if he got that, oh. he would have been dead. Oh. Okay, that gets rid of the revenge. So that just happens. Oh, he just took it. Let's see what he has so far. Where is that? Oh, he's gone. Okay, it's one to one. Let's see how this goes. It's a close match. Okay. Shield a little too early. Oh, he wants it. Do you want to spike him or something? Yeah, he really wants to spike him. Any chance he gets, he tries. And I mean, I can't blame him. I'll do the same. I mean, yeah, that's kind of probably the character. Oh, we're fine. oh, we got, oh no. Oh! Yeah, there you go. <laughs> got him. Yeah, side B. That's fine. I think it's fine. 
Okay. Now it's right now one to one. Mm, one one. Will will any of them switch their character though? Is the question. And will they keep battlefield? I feel like the Incineroar would probably Gosh. do better in small battlefield because the the platforms let, let him you know avoid the projectiles that are incoming. I guess that's how he's going to survive pretty well. Oh wow, they're sticking they're sticking to the characters. Sticking character and stage. Because I click Final Destination, it's only a flat ground, so Incineroar has no nothing to be able to like stand on to keep himself safe on the field cross, unlike here where they have platforms. Is there a rule against you? Is there a rule when you can be using platforms? Uh, or like just arenas? Well, wait, wait. Well, like, because I noticed that last round it was just completely flat. Like the last game that we watched in the Daniel, the, the whole arena was just completely flat. Yeah, that's a different stage. So this one's Battlefield, and then the small Battlefield, uh, basically it's the same, but that top platform is gone. And then Final Destination is, you know, flat ground. Does, it get, does the H HSCL choose the field run, or do they get to choose? They get to choose. If they both choose it, then it kind of like just randomly, like basically picks it to be new, like a roulette. And if they chose both choose the same, then yeah, it gets something like this, where it would always be battlefield for them. Although right now, Magnus seems to be doing good. You now with the backer drag down into a up smash. Ooh, narrowly missed that. Air dodge out of the okay, now he's in an advantage point. Although he lost that out of a boom. Ooh. We gotta well, we gotta kill it. Mathis is actually now really Oh well, there he goes. Arrow into combo. That was good. I have not seen that before. It's not kind of thing. Playing against a young thing. I was Wario and I was really bad at the game, so I just got wrecked. Just kind of projected out and I couldn't do anything. Which is kind of just how links are in general. How about my friend on here? Said that because he's a big thing. Oh, he timed that. Oh. Barely survived that. Luckily, he DI'd. Oh! He got him with the upbeat. He wanted to spike again. Oh. With the bomb. Oh, he couldn't capitalize on it. Oh, he'll be reversed. And then try to do what he did last time. It would have killed, but he missed it. Oh, he didn't tech. Oh, oh he missed it. Oh, no. Oh. Not again. That seems to be a common way how Matt is a guy. He isn't being caught off the garden ledge with a side and since they're close to the blast zone, it's just gonna be a kill. Oh. Although we got him with the Saito. Oh. <laughs> the spacing there was good. Because if he if he was too close, he would not grab that instant or that would not be good. He would have died, but he would have had neutral, first of all. And he would have been in a disadvantage for him off stage. So that helps matters a lot. Oh, yeah, just so much percent the legs they could that's a cool counter. If it was Link, it would have spiked him, he would have won. Want some disrespect on side. But, fortunately, Young Link has no spikes. Ooh. I'm not sure, actually. There's a lot. There's like ink, how it Oh, oh, there you oh. go. You got the upbeat. Funny thing is, he, he learned from last game. He saw how last time when he missed, he... Yeah, 2-1. Two, 2-1. Yeah. Two, one. Two, one. But yeah, it's smart how Mathis last time when he did that, he died. And now he had a bomb just in case. So when he upbeat, he goes into free fall where he can't like jump or try to recover again. But the bomb would explode in his hand that he was holding, and then it would let him do another upbeat, which would take him if he missed. But luckily, he got it. <laughs> it's again it's <laughs> Oh god. Ew. Again! Let's see how this goes. This guy's really committed. Alright, let's see how this goes. Okay. Hopefully the lag isn't that bad. I mean, lag last game wasn't that bad. Oh, let's see. Let's just try some Good combo, good finishing up. I wouldn't be surprised. Let's see. Oh boy. Seems like. Yeah, I never kind of learned his lesson. Yeah. Or learned a lot. I don't know why he downed it there. Uh, now Mattis has the advantage point. That's only not hit by the spike. Not oh. Good. Oh. Oh. oh yeah. No. Guard by the projectiles. It's so just bad against. Slow character and all. Almost like slow air speed. Yep, got caught by the Nair. Oh. I mean, 
bomb had no integrity. Someone that uses bombs really well is Snake. Where he could like plant some floors and also the guy is full and like grenades and he could just do a lot of things. Okay. okay. Lucky that he he got launched to the other side. If he got launched towards the blast zone, he would have been dead. Although they would be equal right now if it's not Snake's or Pax. Oh, that's it. In interesting air dodge. Although the bomb see, it saves them. Oh, he got the tank. Although he he, he didn't up he fast enough. Oh wait, okay, it's one life. Oh my god. Yeah. And Sinner tried to up beat and like Mathis did the up beat early, but the bomb to call save them. And then the Incineroar tried to like basically do like a if I'm going down, you're coming with me type of kill there. But Mathis teched, but unfortunately he did a tech wall jump, which led him to the other direction and he didn't up in time. And so he just died. Oh well, there you go. Oh the footstool! Oh, the distance oh. Now nah, that's good. That's pretty much game. Wow, the footstool was good. Yeah, and then that completes Mathis's game. Yeah, Mathis done. Easy. Sort of. Because 3 1. But hey, still won regardless. Yeah, that is basically it. Yeah. That was pretty quick. Wow. No room for comeback. So, from this game, what was your take back? Well, all, all that needs to be said is that when Mathis tries, he. That was good. It's, he basically, it reminds me like Ultra Instinct. <laughs> ultra Instinct? Yeah. He's kind of like just basically in base form. And then when he, he tries, like locks in. And then boom, he beats him. And still with a side of disrespect, which is kind of funny. Yeah. So, and what do you think maybe perhaps like the other player, or what's his name? Well, what, what would you think oh, publisher could maybe get done better? Well, first of all, uh, not being Sinor because it's already a bad character against them, so it's kind of like a counter pick matchup. It's a bad matchup in general. He would have to be like a better character, maybe like one with a reflector, and just one that could recover well. Which, I mean, that fits the criteria of a lot of characters, I think. I'd say someone that could have been notable is Villager, because he has this uh, mechanic where he's able to pocket moves. So if he tries to throw like a bomb or arrow or boomerang, he could have pocketed it and save it for later. And also, he's a good recovery. One of the uh, like one of the best recoveries in the game, so that would help them a lot. But Incineroar, yeah, Incineroar just in general, like some characters like Kirby, Ganondorf, Little Mac, they all are well. Some are fast, some are slow, like Ganondorf. They do pretty bad against projectiles since they don't have projectiles themselves, and they have, they have they're lacking in range, and so that's why Young Link against Incineroar was just an easy sweep for Mathis's part, having the better character in that matchup. Which helped them in the long run. I see. Well, once again, just to let you guys know that we'll have another stream on Thursday at 3 o'clock for Rocket League. And there will be a streaming for... Um, there will be another stream on Monday, like today, for both League of Legends. Unfortunately, League of Legends, we were not able to stream today because we had some technical issues. And luckily, we were actually able to do Rocket... Uh, not Rocket League. Smash. So, please keep in tune for Monday. Monday at... 1 o'clock, no, not 1 o'clock, around like 2 o'clock-ish, and then th we will be back from streaming again. And yeah, my name is Lyle Huang, and please thank our special guest for tuning in expert. today. Expert. Yeah. yeah, expert. I'm Adriano. Expect uh, Nathan to be back if you missed him. Sorry for taking his place. Um, he'll be back for the Rock League match next time on Thursday. Yeah, so thank you so much for coming, and please come support all of our Fairfax Esports team. Thank you so much for joining us, and let's see you next time. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Bye.